السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گریڈی پرسن از بینگ جوکڈ بائی ادر پیپل اینڈ گیٹ انسلٹ فرام دا پیپل اینڈ ایون سم ٹائمز ہی ہیز ٹو باؤ ڈاؤن بفور دا پیپل ان آرڈر ٹو سیٹسفائی ہیز گریڈنیس سو دیٹ از دا ورسٹ تھنگ what this person is earning at the expense of his respect and regard keep in mind holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said that the respect of a believer is in this in these words that the person must request allah for everything and must be away from the creation of allah and every time request allah for his needs and demands abu sufyan suri rahmatullah alayhi he said that uh, you try to try your best to become a pious person a person of taqwa because a person who is on taqwa that person will not feel hunger so allah will fulfill the need of that person and that person will not be insulted by any person because allah will protect the respect and regard of that person and this way a person who is under curse of greed that person will suffer in different type of troubles problems even the person will not get his ego his respect prestige he will have to suffer all consequences of worst manners of a person so this is the situation a greedy person will feel and even sometimes this greedy person has to be blamed with some other things and even sometimes is going to jail and sometimes feel like disrespect in the society but the person is not to leave the greed then this person is the worst of all creation so be careful <clears throat> the best thing is you have to stay with respect to your requirements when allah is giving you everything what is required alhamdulillah you must be thankful to allah don't worry about anything and if you are greedy for your belly for your food then you can see the donkeys horses bull cows these animals also they they are also uh, greedy of their food and you are like the animals even you will be the worst than the animals if you are greedy for the food for your belly same like that <clears throat> if you are greedy of your lust of sexual need social respect need or needs of your proudness show off then you are worst than the animals like pig bear and other animals of the jungle though you are worst than that because they are also struggling for these things so if you you are greedy of your uh, glorification of your uh, appearance of your lifestyle then you are same like those people who are who are people of the book who are Jews and Christians, they are also doing this. And you are same like that. So, think now, if you are greedy 
of your desires then you are worst than all creation of allah keep in mind that if you are just to leave the greed and be thankful to allah and stay with patience what allah has given you and fulfill the needs and requirements under the given subsistence of allah alhamdulillah at the day of judgment you will be standing with friends of allah with the prophets of allah so you will get so much respect there keep in mind that when when the when the wealth or the worldly things they are increasing with you then you will you are suffering will be more because you will think that maybe thieves will steal your things maybe something maybe fire possible maybe some other uh, calamities or some other troubles possible and you are your wealth or your resources will waste you will have to feel the consequences of damaging of your properties of your wealth of your resources and then that make you headache and you will not feel peace of mind so that is because of the greed of this wealth and the things of this world in other way if you are thankful to allah what allah has given then you are mashallah is is a person of peace so this way you are not to look at the people who are more richer than you you are just to look the people who are lower level than you Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you have to look at the person who is lower level than you in terms of wealth then inshallah you will get the respect and regard of Allah's blessed rizq and you will fulfill the requirements and inshallah your life will be good under the circumstances and under the circle of islam this way keep in mind sometimes your nafs and shaitan occupies you to motivate you to initiate you to persuade you to do something more or make you greedy of different things sometime sometime you may be the greedy of the desires sometime you may be the greedy of money sometime you may be the greedy of wealth and resources and different things sometime you may be the greedy of the worldly things so you have so many things in this world sometime you may be the greedy of those things keep in mind if you will be greedy then you will not get satisfaction and peace of mind so a person must look at himself or herself and then turn towards allah and request allah whatever the person need and uh, inshallah allah fulfill the need of the person and if you will be thankful to allah then alhamdulillah allah will give you more and more blessings and so much risk you are will be increased every type of risk will be increased if you are thankful to allah and if you are unthankful to allah then you must keep in mind that the punishment of allah is so much hard and you have to suffer that one that is very important for you we have to look this in surah ibrahim ayat number 7 Allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa iz ta'azzana rabbukum la in shakartum la azidannakum wa la in kafartum inna azabi la shadid Allah said wa iz ta'azzana and when Allah said to you 
Allah commanded you that Rabbukum, Allah, your Lord, He told you, La in shakartum, if you will be thankful to Allah, La azidannakum, then Allah will increase your risk, increase, Allah will give you more and more. Wala in kafartum, and if you will be ungrateful, unthankful to Allah, inna, no doubt, azabi, Allah said, my punishment, la shadid, is the hardest one. Then you have to suffer that one also. Now in this ayat, we have to look how we should be thankful to Allah. For example, Allah has given you so many things. Like for example, you have eyes. How you will be thankful because of your eyes? You are just to make your eyes obedient to Allah. How is possible? You are not, not allowed to look the things or persons or those things which are not allowed according to Islam. Even if you are on mobile phone or you are iPad or you are on any instrument or any device, you are not allowed to look at those things which are not allowed according to Islam. Allah never say, Allah, Holy Prophet ﷺ never say, even Sharia never say to look that. If you are looking those one, then automatically you are violating from Islam. Then you are unthankful, then be ready for the punishment at the day of judgment. Because the angels are writing. But you must be thankful mean, you have to look those things which are allowed to see with your eyes according to Islam. Then inshallah your eyes are thankful to Allah. Same like that from your ears. You have to listen those things which are allowed in Islam. You are not to listen backbiting and uh, you know the sexual things, bad things, are so many things which are outside Islam or which are not allowed to listen, you are leave those one and listen only those things which are allowed in Islam. Then your, your ears will be thankful to Allah. Same like that, with your tongue, you have to say the truth every time. What is needed, you have to say, otherwise you must be silent. You are not to backbite, not to curse, not to... Uh, taught persons not to abuse anyone you have to say what is needed otherwise you must be silent then your tongue will be thankful to Allah so same like that with your hand you are not to touch the body of any other person which is not allowed according to Islam and you have to you are not to steal anything from uh, of any person with, because you are not to use your hand for that purpose. And you are not to use your hand to that place where Allah is prohibited. Sharia never allow you, you are not to touch that. Leave your hand and also touch those things where Allah and Holy Prophet and Sharia allowed. So you have to make your hands thankful to Allah like this way when they will be working under the circle of Islam. Same like that, all other body parts, you have your body parts like for example legs, they have to walk towards uh, the good place like to masjid, to uh, the rizki halal, to something good, but not to do the something bad like uh, sexual need, some other problem you know according to islam you look at the activities of your all parts of your body even your heart allah bi zikrillah tatma innul qulub even your heart must be with remembrance of allah so when it will be remembrance of allah there must be only allah's love in the heart so leave all other love from your heart then when Allah's love come in it, automatically it attracts the love of Holy Prophet Sallallahu love of Islam, love of your children, where Allah allow automatically those things come in it. But keep in mind that your heart must be under the circle of Islam. This heart must keep those things. Don't bring 
the love of worldly things in your heart those will be partner with allah and allah will not allah don't like the partners so then love of allah will uh, will go out from your heart so keep in mind that uh, you have to place allah's love and then be sincere with that inshallah you will get to peace of heart same like that you have to look after all other body body organs and also when you are going to earn your living you have to earn proper way like for example if you are in a job you have to for example you have to work for 8 hours you have to work for 8 hours you are not to leave the for example if the if the owner is out and you are staying you are working there but you think that no one is looking after you and you are just to stay uh, like uh, relax and you are not working you work for 6 hours but working was 8 hours and they are paying for 8 hours you are working for 6 hours 2 hours is dishonesty and your risk will not be halal and during your uh, working time you can think if the prayer time salah time is there that, that is compulsory for you you have to take the uh, time off and pray for five, 5 times a day that is very important for you otherwise the risk will not be halal because automatically you will be in trouble there at the day of judgment or what will happen to you but not in the day of judgment but from the grave when your eyes will be closed angels will be in a punishment for you in the grave because of not praying five times a day keep in mind that you have to make your risk halal and 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 don't be greedy person whatever allah is giving you be be happy with that and uh, keep in mind if you are not to look after all these things body parts and working and even your cooperation coordination relations and rights and responsibilities to allah to the creation of allah to your family members to your dad mom and to your relatives and other people also according to islam and if you are not doing that and if you are feeling that uh, I'm all right, uh, okay, with my only, just focus to your family only, then you are not a good person. And you must be thankful to Allah, whatever Allah has given you, and what the risk you got, you have to distribute according to Islam, within the category which Allah has fixed according to Sharia. And then you have to be thankful to Allah. And, and uh, keep in mind, if you are not thankful, if you are using your body organs to disobey Allah and to follow the desires of you, at the day of judgment, your tongue will be closed and your body parts will be witness against you and will keep you towards the hell. And if you will be good person and you are just to keep your body parts to be obedient to Allah, then inshallah these body parts will be witness take you towards paradise possible so be careful and uh, relax and uh, think that what allah is giving you alhamdulillah is better and you have to fulfill your needs shukran alhamdulillah and uh, don't worry about anything else don't be a greedy person and inshallah then you will get to special blessings of Allah in this world and the world hereafter. Allah gave us tawfiq. Ameen.